Well, in April of 2018, uh, there was a huge shakeup. Uh, the California Supreme Court, in a case known as the Dynamex case, set an entirely new standard. And in that case, uh, by the way, that decision was an 80 plus page, 82, 84 page, um, unanimous Supreme Court decision on this issue. And we don't always get unanimous Supreme Court decisions, and we certainly don't get unanimous Supreme Court decisions making such a drastic change in any kind of law. And this is an amazingly drastic change, and we'll talk about what that change is when we go over the law, but basically I wanna go over one thing. And that is, what they teach lawyers in law school is that bad facts make bad law, all right? Somebody had to really peeve the justices of the California Supreme Court to change the entire legal structure and to do it unanimously. And here's what they did. Dynamex was a food delivery service, an online food delivery service, is an online food delivery service. And when they started doing their business, all of their drivers were employees. They did withholding for them, they paid, they paid mileage for their cars, they took care of all of the employee benefits, they did everything for them. Well, they got a new CEO that came in, and he was a big smart aleck, like all good new CEOs and big, these big companies are, and he says, I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna cut costs, I'm gonna increase profits. One of the things he did to cut costs, and he stated it in a memo, was we are going to fire all of our employees and make them independent contractors. And he did that, and he saved millions of dollars. Well, that didn't sit well with the California Supreme Court, and that's why we now have a drastic change in the law. So let's see what that drastic change in the law is, but not vis-a-vis -vis the Dynamics case. We'll do it through Labor Code section 2570.3 because what the California legislature did and you don't see that anywhere here in AB5, Assembly Bill 5, was put on Gavin Newsom, Governor Gavin Newsom's desk in September of 2019. Remember the other case, the, the Dynamex case was 2018. That was a, April 2018. It's been that law since April 2018. So in January, I mean, so, so in September of 2019, Governor Gavin Newsom signed the bill into law codifying AB5, which specifically and expressly adopts the holding of Dynamex. That's why we didn't have to go through Dynamex. You're gonna get it right here through Labor Code Section 2750.3. Now, I will tell you, I did give you in your handout, at the back of the handout is a 12-page printout of that one code section. It's, it's one page of new standard and 11 pages of exceptions, and I will guarantee you it's written pursuant to the Attorney Full Employment Act. Okay, you take a look at that, see if you could decipher it. <laughs> but you don't have to worry, I will decipher it for you. Let's see what 27.3, 2750.3 says. The basic law, as we break it down, says a person providing labor or services for remuneration shall be considered an employee rather than an independent contractor, unless. What does that mean? My goodness gracious, what does that mean? What that means is when the EDD or FTB walk into your business to audit you, or somebody makes a claim, one of your what you thought was an independent contractor making a claim at workers' compensation or the labor board or something like that, automatically, right from the start, by statute, that's an employee and not an independent contractor, and you mischaracterize them. Unless, we, we, got, a, we got a way out, an unless. Let's see what that unless says. Unless the hiring entity demonstrates that all of the following conditions are satisfied. Pretty innocuous, seems pretty simple. A few things and then you could have an independent contractor. I will tell you how insidious this is. What this means 
is the hiring entity demonstrates. Remember that burden of proof issue that we enjoyed under the last law? We don't enjoy that anymore. Now we, as employers, I say we, I represent employers, okay? I represent companies. So when I say we, as the hiring party, now have the burden to show. You stick a document in front of them, they're gonna put their hands up and go, okay, show me more. That's our burden. It is the most devastating part of this new law, I believe, that nobody else is talking about. All they're talking about are the requirements, and we're gonna to get to that in a moment. Anyway, let me go back one second. Um, so un unless the hiring entity can show that all of the following is satisfied, now I'll tell you what all of the following is. All of the following has come to be known as the ABC test, okay? Fancy term, it's just another three-prong test that we have in the law, and you have to satisfy each and every one of those prongs.